Last up, top analyst says one altcoin massively undervalued goes along on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and three crypto assets, and why I think this is all a bunch of BS. So uh, this is from the Crypto Dog. Nothing against him, uh, not at all. But I just I've been a little jaded uh, since I've been in this uh, in this game for a while. And so Crypto Dog talks about built a cream position recently. I think this is a massively undervalued sitting at 100 billion million market cap, and blah blah blah. And he starts to talk about uh, Wi-Fi and some other things, whatever else. I, I don't really care. Um, what it really comes down to, and I'm going to make this crystal clear. Let's just jump into the office for the Q of the day. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the office. So I wanted to uh, kind of explain my position as far as that last article that we just looked at. So uh, nothing against uh, the analyst who was featured in that article. I, uh, I'm sure he's got you know a great profile and everything else. But the, the thing is that you have to understand with this entire market, with any market, with, with anything that's out there, is that uh, people are going to be biased. And even me, I am biased myself. Like, I mean, I have uh, heavy positions in Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Chainlink, Cardano, XRP, Tezos, Theta, and the list goes on, EOS. So when I talk about these things, it's not because I'm not trying to be biased, I'm, I'm trying not to be, but there's always gonna be something in my head, always, that says, talk about these things, talk about these things. So when we hear these analysts claim, you know, oh, you know, I got this huge position, you have to always take a step back and go, what's the real motive? Is it because they believe in the technology, they think it's gonna change the world, they think it's a good project, or is it because they're just trying to pump their bags? Now, there are levels of uh, nefariousness, right? Some people are like the worst, the worst and they just talk about a project just because they got paid to talk about a project and in the back of their head or even in the, in the, in the forefront, it's like, this is trash, I don't really care. But I'm just trying to uh, you know, put it out to you suckers. And then there's other people who you know, are like, hey, I invested into this, I totally um, believe that this is going to be a very big thing and uh, I'm just gonna talk about it because I think it's gonna be awesome. Now, I'm the same way with a lot of my positions, also uh, for Celsius and Voyager. Uh, I talk about them a lot because my, my one-two punch, and I totally believe in what they're trying to do, and I am behind them. So there is that part. And um, I didn't really want to get into it, but uh, I, I probably should. And, and that is that there was a there was a, a live stream I was doing. Actually, what, no, it was a premiere. And we were talking about a specific um, cryptocurrency. And I won't give you the name, but I own it, and uh, I'm just too stubborn to give it away. Anyhow, uh, we were talking, uh, there was somebody who was just, you know, talking about how great it is and this and that, and he was, he or she was downplaying and poo-pooing on everybody else's project, which I got to tell you, nothing uh, infuriates me more. Like people talk about, oh, these comments don't, don't make me angry or whatever else. Well, there's some that do make me angry, and it's when people will leg talk about a project, and if they believe it or not, I, I can never tell, but they're like, oh, this is a scam, and this is awful, and this is, you know, it's, I'm like, do you really think it's a scam? Do you really think it is? Or is it just because you have so much into a specific product that you cannot see past your horse blinders into another project? And that is the big thing. Uh, and I think that's the problem with Bitcoin maximalists. And I am always uh, very wary about me falling into that trap where I just can't see behind or beyond my horse blinders because I have these positions. So uh, we were talking about this, uh, this specific uh, position, all these different, and he, you know, he or she was talking about how, how they're a scam and whatnot. And uh, it was revealed that this person uh, had been, had you know, really pumped their bags a long, long time ago for a specific product. And it, it, for some reason, I mean, not, nothing about, you know, you should be, you, you should not you know, fill your bags if you, if you believe in the project. But I just need people to be aware, and I try to do this as best as possible. And that is that you have to look for the good in certain projects. If they are a total scam, if they are a BitConnect, then call them a BitConnect. But I need you to really do some research and not just go, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam, it's a scam. It just is, it really doesn't bode well for the whole cryptocurrency digital asset market. My philosophy is this, and when I'm going through CoinGecko, you'll hear me say this. I don't own X. Congratulations to all you X holders. Good job of holding this the whole time or whatever. Um, I was talking about Neo being one of those types of things. So I am under the belief that uh, when the water rushes into the harbor, all the ships rise and what's good for one is potentially good for all. So the more, um, 
fantastic we are to build our community, cryptocurrency digital assets, I think the better off we will all be. Uh, there's a lot of eyes in this space right now. And you don't see it, but I see it. I see it everywhere. And they are looking at us and they are evaluating from all different types. Now, if we can come together and talk about how great certain products are, fantastic. Just if you're going to call something a scam, talk about how it is a scam and then just you know give your, your points. But don't just totally assume something is awful and then go from there. All, All right. right, that's it. So I hope I kind of clarified my position on that. Uh, just so you know, we have a secondary channel called uh, Digital Asset News Clips. I made it for two reasons. First of all, so you didn't have to watch the whole uh, video. You can break them down to clips because time is money, right? And second of all, I did it just to make sure that YouTube doesn't uh, X me out and gets rid of my channel. So this is like our backup. And also what I try to do is every day is I do a Dan Clip exclusive where I answer questions or go over a separate piece. So it just as a little incentive uh, to have you go over there and check that out. And I really appreciate it if you could. So, so that's it for today. So thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Uh, how about